is that it is at times of tension like these that tragedies like this crash can happen, causing great loss of innocent life. <coughs> President Rouhani's response to me was a commitment to collaborate to give closure to the victims, de-escalate tensions in the region, and continue this dialogue. Our focus remains accountability, transparency, and justice for the families and loved ones of the victims. As Minister Champagne said yesterday, our government is taking additional steps to provide more support to those grieving. I've asked the Clerk of the Privy Council to set up an emergency task force, which convened earlier today. Additionally, consular and immigration officials have been dispatched across the country so that they can be in direct contact with the families of Canadians affected by this tragedy. Minister Mendicino has set up an emergency line to ensure that officials from Immigration Canada are available to help with any visa issues. I remain in close contact with our partners, as are my ministers. Last night, I spoke to Prime Minister Abe of Japan, who is on his way to the Middle East. And I will soon be speaking again with Ukrainian President Zelensky and Swedish Prime Minister Lovren. Minister Champagne has been in touch with his counterparts from Iran, Switzerland, Turkey, Sweden, and Ukraine, in part to discuss progress on issuing visas for our teams. He will also reconvene a second call of the International Coordination and Response Group for the Families of Victims of PS752 to coordinate our response for the families together with representatives from Ukraine, Sweden, Afghanistan, and the United Kingdom who are also grieving. I want to end by sharing with you a bit of what I did yesterday. I had a chance to sit with some of the families of the victims. They are hurt, angry, and grieving. They want answers. They want justice. What Iran has admitted to is very serious. Shooting down a civilian aircraft is horrific. Iran must take full responsibility. Canada will not rest until we get the accountability, justice, and closure that the families deserve.